I'm not a vampire, not an alien, I'm not the fucking mummy, I'm a goblin. Something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Not the Ghostbusters. You're gonna call Eleven because she is fucking badass. She has powers mostly. That's the what makes her badass. But in this first part of Stranger Things, that more, most likely there's uh, the second uh, part is already out. But in this one, oh my god, this was good. This was really good. It's kind of thing. This ties everything together, kind of thing. We also have a new character called Eddie and something Marson, more kind of thing. Yeah, he is a fucking metal fan. He's a fucking metal fan. Yeah. Yeah. Metal! Who doesn't like a little bit of metal of the 80s style kind of thing? Of course, because he's a metal hat and because he likes having jacket. I also likes Dungeons and Dragons. He seems like me. If I was born in the. Uh, if, well, not born in the 80s. But if I was uh, uh, the age of 17, 20 kind of thing, whatever his age is, uh, in the, that era, that was kind of thing. I even have a Walkman, I love that kind of Anyway, so. He is kind of thing, so, but also, people I really, really like, uh, like a little bit kind of uh, hating on, on uh, people because, well, of course, somebody dies, like two people kind of dies in uh, this first time before they actually find out what the hell is going on, and uh, Eddie was, well, was where the, one of them uh, got killed, right in his field. It's like, uh, it's like, oh god, no! Like, that's gonna be kind of thing. But then there are some teenagers, college kind of thing, they're like, Yo, what are we gonna do? We gotta fucking kill him! He must have done it! I mean, you're sure the kids are all kind of thing. And they have the Hellfire Club kind of thing, what's in Dungeon and Dragon uh, kind of play kind of thing, because he loves to play the kind of thing. He has lots of dramatic. He goes over like, I know, the thunder, oh, the kind of, the monster comes in. Poof. <laughs> he goes all, all like that, so he's kind of me. He reminds me a lot of me. Besides the name, you know, I got a better name. The Goblin, the Twisted Goblin. Anyway, uh, anyway, so he is kind of a uh, big thing. He tries to run away from those kind of thing. Also from the cops because they now the cops also trying because those kids also is like you know what kind of thing. And because he's a metal fan in this little so small town. And you know, metal, the board of the demon, the kind of things. We love uh, our satanic symbols, kind of thing, just to say, FUCK YOU, DEVIL! We don't give it the goddamn thing about you. We're making our own kind of thing of your, of your kind of thing. It's like skinning the devil alive, kind of thing. We just skin him alive and give him a new, a new freaking uh, 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 look. A new look on the world, like, WHAT FUCKING MATTER! Kind of thing. Kind of thing. But you know, that's not how they see it. Uh, kind of thing. So they just see him as eh, maybe more of the devil, kind of thing. Not totally that, but you know, close to it. Uh, it's not like fairy religions, kind of uh, people that try to kill him. It's more like he's maybe something to do with it. And he's a weirdo. And he is above age. And he's uh, playing with children. That's maybe kind of a little bit weird. Kind of thing, but uh, also if you play Dungeon and Dragons, it's like, hey, you can go here for playing Dungeon. Like, cool, you go there, and that's like, there are kids. Well, we cannot cut it. You have to play with kids. Like, I guess I have to, and that then you're like, kind of thing. Anyway, so he's kind of guy. So he's on the run lots of times, uh, or through this uh, first part kind of thing. And in California, this stuff happening because Eleven and others move to California for a while kind of thing and so there there is something going on uh, ends up also uh, they have to kind of thing Eleven has to go back to Papa because the, you know the or the whole kind of thing of uh, uh, her, her Papa kind of thing uh, being this uh, corporational kind of thing he, where she escaped from but now she has to go back because she doesn't have powers and because she has enough uh, power she has to try to get back she doesn't know that it's behind this all kind of thing but she goes because she wants her powers back and because she's like maybe she's the only one that can stop her so she goes back to uh, with, uh, with another guy and then finds out uh, what was behind this and while the other team you know in, uh, in the little town not in California uh, that team has this whole kind of uh, 
find out, trying to find out what kind of thing that Eddie didn't do it because we all know Eddie didn't do it, and somehow some people forget what what happened because you know not everybody was there. The kids were there when uh, stuff went going nuts. Uh, the teenagers were there. Now they're teenagers, and the kid and the teenagers uh, in this are adults. Uh, kind of thing. So Steve has to baby kind of sit, but it's like no, not gonna babysit uh, again and kind of thing. And Eddie is also there. Uh, so after a while, kind of thing, because Eddie run first, the kind of thing. They try to say because everybody besides some assholes, some kind of thing, know that he is not done it because they have lived off of something that could have done it. Like you know, because they have experienced stranger things, kind of stuff. With the upside down, so that thing comes into play. The upside down, and uh, he goes to. Uh, they try to kind of think the upside down. A man kind of thing keeps on coming back. Fendra, Fendra, Drew, of kind of thing. He has uh, this big monstrosity, bloody kind of met air kind of thing. We don't know what this monster is, but it seems like. He is the one in control of everything, so far as I know, because some people are like, Oh, this is a general of the uh, Void that we saw last season. I'm like, I thought he was behind this all. I still think he's behind it, uh, everything, but it could be wrong, and could be uh, there's even other one. But, you know, he is behind stuff. He is also comes Freddy Krueger-like into dreams kind of thing, and when he is as crap of you enough, he just kills you! It's like, ah! Uh, kind of thing, but he also is like yes, and, uh, and I think not Robin, but the other girl kind of thing. She, uh, it could be her brother. That's like this variation at the end of the this part kind of thing. Like oh, it could be brother. While that's going on, while she discovered that, uh, we also find out from Eleven that he actually met this uh, uh, monstrosity, but he was still human. He was only human after all. And he was the one that actually got original uh, the powers. He got the powers of the, uh, he is number one, while Eleven is num 11 kind of thing. She is like Eleven and number one, like those kind of thing. But he was just working there. Eleven helped him get, get out of there kind of thing, but it chipped us out of him and he could do the telekinesis. Because he's the original one, so every power kind of thing that Eleven has is from him. He was a psychopath, you know. He likes Black Widows. Who doesn't like Eleven? I like Black Widows so far as they stay away from me. <laughs> kind of thing. I like seeing them in movies. I like seeing uh, the songs about them. I like seeing kind of thing. But in real life, I try to stay away from them. Black Widows. Uh, no thanks. The only Black Widow that can come close is Black Widow from uh, Avengers stuff. Go moment, Scarlett Johansson. Anyway, or B Widowmaker from Overwatch. Also something that uh, coming back. Overwatch 2 is, uh, is announced in October. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about Stranger Things. So let's get back to it! <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, so she, uh, kind of thing we find out uh, with Eleven's uh, kind of thing she try uh, some remembering that her trigger is kind of love like love uh, is the trigger kind of thing for her power but also anger rage uh, helps kind of thing so she combines that because she's losing against first she has like friends with uh, Fendra Fendrix or kind of or whatever his name was. The monstrosity kind of thing, he was friends, he was okay, a, 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 able to save him, but he was like, you know, stay here. I'm gonna go on a killing spree! And you're dead, and you're dead, and you're dead. <coughs> you're dead, like he killed every single other uh, uh, kind of thing besides Eleven, because he's like, I like Eleven, we have a connection going on. Kind of thing, because she's also the best and powerful, and I'm supreme, I'm the superior, also like Black like Widow's kind of thing. But I'm superior than anybody else. That's his all shebang, shebang kind of thing uh, going on. And I'm like, huh, wow. And then he uh, eventually, Eleven defeats him, uh, disintegrates him, and he's like, ah, pfft, and gets into the upside down kind of thing. I don't know if he created it or Eleven created it kind of thing, or this is already kind of there, but they can get into this upside down kind of thing uh, in the show. But he's so, like falling, electric is kind of uh, destroying his body. He's like, he's becoming this monster because of that. 
<coughs> because of the upside down is making him a monster kind of thing. Uh, well, he was already a monster from the inside, but now he's the outside a monster. And that could be, it's like, kind of, and I love that. So, like, maybe this is all created because of Eleven and uh, Thunder. Because before this, he was just a psychopath with telekinesis power. He's like, ah, I got telekinesis powers. I'm a psychopath that got free. My parents didn't want me. And Papa, kind of thing. He is a kind of a psychopath that, you know, gets progress, science before reason, kind of thing. He does lots of science. Like, yeah, you cannot do this, but. Why would we not do this? Uh, kind of thing. He is this uh, kind of guy. So he gets uh, destroyed, becomes this uh, monstrosity, and uh, then creates maybe those things because he gets more powerful as he goes. Uh, kind of thing. Maybe that's how he could. Or there is somebody else behind the scenes, even more. Uh, but we had this monster. It could be uh, like from his imagination or his sanity that cuts into this universe. It starts making kind of thing. I felt like this is cool because this feels like uh, it's an original. Like if an Eleven Avenger, ooh, whatever his name is, uh, kind of thing, uh, this monster didn't fight each other. This could never been uh, created. Maybe he would, uh, Eleven would never created this uh, upside down. Maybe it's like less supernatural and has this loop of a very uh, psychopathic. Uh, telekinesis guy that was so powerful created this whole universe uh of or together with 11 like created this universe because of uh, their anger the rage kind of thing and it changed him uh kind of thing into this uh into this kind of thing that's behind the scenes uh been uh for the whole time trying to get back to 11 because you know 11 kind of killed and that's why also the upside down still looks like from the 80s or the 70s. Anyway, I enjoyed this. Uh, I enjoyed uh, watching this part. It was really cool. Every character was f fun to see. Rob uh, first, Eddie is my favorite, and Robin is my favorite. I think in season two, uh, Robin was the best kind of thing. Anyway, so yeah, the spider t creature was also fun uh, kind of thing. Before that, uh, there was also the Russian. That was uh, like a big deal to go against uh, kind of thing. And there was also a side plot because Hopper is still alive. Hopper was on a, R a Russian base kind of thing. Has to then fight one of the Demogorgons uh, from season one kind of thing. Uh, those kind of creatures ca came back what he had to fight. Yeah, but the, that creature is became more stronger than the normal which kind of thing. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Like they save, Ho trying to save Hopper kind of thing. And kind of works. Uh, that's pretty much it. I enjoyed the whole fucking thing. I recommend watching it because there is so much more that I didn't talk about. Uh, kind of thing. But in summary, it is pretty much the most important and most uh, things, feelings that I have against uh, with this show. And I felt it's like a solid Omega level series kind of thing. I did watch it like all at once from season two. I like I stopped somewhere in season two. I kind of thing. I'm like, eh, I'm gonna stop. I, I don't. I don't want to watch it anymore. Kind of thing. I am a little burned out about Stranger Things, and then I went to something else. Now I got back because of this villain looks kind of thing. This also maybe before this, uh, it's like okay, we got a villain. We got from the upside down another creature coming in, but not a really like plot, like nothing that ties everything together or some creature that's superior that you can talk to it's always like eh hey, come on another creature comes uh wants to kill somebody a horror kind of thing just wants to skin somebody alive like kind of thing no now we have some psychopath that maybe created this whole fucking thing together with 11 uh, this whole mess anyway yeah so and um, omega level 10 it's like the highest rating i can give it uh, i would i would love to see the next part that's pretty much maybe already there or it's gonna come very soon anyway thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed and so hope to see you guys in my next ones and goodbye and good night then the days got worse and worse and now you see i've gone completely out of my mind